Okay, I have not made a video for a little while, but since I'm working again and I'm earning a wage, I decided to treat myself a little bit. Um, well, rather than treat myself, treat my bike because it is the love of my life, of course. Um, and I thought I'd do an unboxing video, which is very sad. But what I've bought is I did an order with Planet X, who are amazing. They do some really, really cheap stuff. And it's generally pretty good quality as well. They have some great sales on sale on at the minute and um, the only thing i'd say about them is it's like four quid for post and packaging so it makes the while they do like really cheap things like um in a tubes you've got to do a pretty, pretty big order really to make it a good bargain but i'm very excited about this i spent about 40 quid which is a big deal for me and i have got is a handlebar bag blue and black it is basically a harness which goes on the handlebars with a dry bag inside which i'm very excited about currently have a very small bag that goes in there for the electronics that'll be good for putting maybe a sleeping bag in or a floor mat this is what i've been trying to try out i am very very um very skeptical whether or not this will actually fit i'll probably have to take my real pannier rack off I've been dying to try. Oh, this looks good quality. This is £20. Um, it's a seat pack we're going on there. That'd be fit. They did two sizes for the same price, £20. Um, this is the 9 litre one, the other version was 11 Waterproof. It looks really, really good quality. Reflective. It's got elastics on there so you can stuff 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 things in there stuff stuff in there yeah i'm liking that um yeah because my plan is while i'm working i've only got the weekends off maybe do some overnighters maybe not camp maybe stay in bed and breakfast or something i could even just use that for commuting right so i'll be very excited to see if that will fit. Let's have a proper look at this one. This waste. Oh, this waste. This is going to be interesting to see if it fits as well because I don't have a lot of space, a lot of real estate space on my handlebars, what with the strange junction box. But we'll have a go. So it looks like that goes around frame as well. Ah, Velcro. This was £10. So yeah, nice dry bag. Fill that up and then put that in there. So the other little bits of what? There. In a tube. Just the one. Can't have one for them. Well, I'll go through them that quickly actually. Uh oh, something missing. I sort of forgot to order it. Do -do -do. No, there should be one. Oh, there it is. Some bar tape, because look at the state of my bar tape. I put new bar tape on before I went travelling, so in June. And because I was leaning my bike up against walls and trees so much, because I don't have a stand, uh, the far ends popped out. I kept, I kept finding them, picking them up, but eventually I lost them. And uh, it's all scuffed and torn, so it's not great. So some new stuff this was. I thought it was more than that. £2.50. Oops. Oops, all right. So it comes with bar ends, but the other thing I bought was some rubber bar ends, which screw in, because I think they'll stay in a bit better. So, little upgrades, my bike's treating my bike. That looks no different to the data stuff I've got on, which was, it's a little slippier. But to be honest, I never actually hold the bar tape. I always have my hands on the hoods, and because I've got quite small hands, my hands go completely on the hoods. I would like a lot nicer surface on that if I could have my way. Right. Oh, the other thing I bought 
was from Decathlon. But I'm not going to set this up just yet. Because it's winter, I'm going to get my other bike, which isn't ever filmed yet. I'm going to put it on my trainer and I'm going to get on Zwift. And this is a trainer tyre because the last time I used my trainer, it completely wore the rear tyre smooth. So this is a tough one, and it'll have the right friction, and it's meant to be um, quieter as well. And it limits your warm up. So that was like 15 quid, which is not cheap. <laughs> not cheap for a tyre that you're never going to use on the road. I mean, it's just a bit of rubber. Cheap. It's cheap, isn't it? Just, and considering what people pay to go to the gym. So yeah, there are my little, <laughs> my little payday treats. And now I'm going to try and get them on the bike and see if they fit. Okay, I am one happy punter. That is obviously, I've still got the rack on there, so it's holding it up a little bit, but um, that's how it fits on. It goes on pretty well, considering I do not have my seat very high, my saddle very high, because um, I've got little short legs. I'm five foot five, which I think is 165 centimeters. I am smack bang average height for a woman, which in trying to buy a bike makes me an absolute, you know, a leprechaun they uh <laughs> this is a, a giant a giant men's small and i do feel on it because you've got this nice um you know dropped top tube but yeah i was really worried i was when i was i've been shopping around for um saddlebags seat packs whatever you want to call them and some websites do tell you how much clearance you gotta have between your tire and your saddle and it's about eight inches which is just about what that is actually I've obviously got thicker tires on as well at the minute but that looks like I reckon that's gonna stay on great it's got it's like a bit like I've got a little to topeak one you know just for like an inner tube and it kind of goes on the same way two nice big straps there on my seat post this is a carbon seat post so I'm probably gonna put uh, some tape on there to protect it why is it not going to focus I don't know why sorry I'm really apologize for the quality of this um this video it's not to my usual professional standards and it's got two um clip um straps there that go through the rails of the saddle and then there's two more clips which you can obviously um fold that down it's obviously empty at the minute but i think that's going to work a treat i am chuffed with that and i am also chuffed with my front roll bag which fits on despite the fact I've got this crazy thing in the middle here. I have still managed to get the straps on either side. And I've currently got, I'll show you in a minute, I'll take it off. I've got a uh, extra fitting underneath there for my light, for my front light, uh, which sticks out a bit. But it still fits amazingly. And I've got, I don't know what width these are. They're not that narrow, these handlebars. Probably 40, I don't know. Um, I've still got lots of room either side. That is obviously a really long bag, so it can you can get more in. And I reckon, I reckon I could get my sleeping bag in there. And um, the only thing that won't fit on, I've got my little torch ready here, look at this. Under here, I'm gonna put the oh no, I can't put the torch in my mouth because then I can't talk. There's an extra strap. Um, and I'm not sure where the hell that's meant to go. Sorry. Um, if it goes on there, it'll affect the steering because that's where the join is. Um, there's not enough room for it to go on here. I suppose other models, other types of frames that go on, it's too, that's too high. So I'm not sure. Sorry. Let's see if I can hold it in that hand. No, I can't. So yeah, I'm not sure where that last strap is meant to go. Huh. Oh, look at all this tape as well. This was holding on my dynamo and my all sorts. I might give it, I might give it the bike a bit proper TLC over this weekend. Oh, look at that. Where the um, where the cables rubbed? That's pretty bad, isn't it? Right, so yeah, I am chuffed with that. Okay, so I am one very happy bunny right now with my new purchases from Planet X. Um, I think I'll just update you on a couple of other things I've been doing in the past couple of weeks. It's been about two weeks since I've done a video. Um, the weather's been crap. I've not been out on my bike much. I've not been doing much, but I did, um, it was a couple of weeks ago, no, it was two weeks ago, in fact, um, I went out with the BWO crew again, that was a really nice ride, but, oh, I didn't enjoy it, I've got to be honest, I didn't enjoy the ride very much, because it was literally on the streets that I ride all the time, we rode down the dock roads, um, back up a bit through uh, Vauxhall and Great Homer Street and things like that, <laughs> up to um, Sefton Park, where I ride through all the time, 
and then back in town. But we had a really nice pint afterwards, a couple of pints in, um, yeah, in Dockleaf in the Baltic Triangle. Really nice pints, some nice food as well. Um, and really, really nice people. So that was great. Um, but this time I was the only woman, which isn't good enough. There's another, if I get this video up tonight, which is Tuesday, 15th, 15th of October, there's a ride tomorrow. Um, it's a pacier one, it's a bit longer. We'll go on it, especially if you're a woman. <laughs> Um, so Wednesday the 16th they're having another ride they are going to be doing throughout the winter rides every fortnight and one week it'll be just a kind of social bimble and the next week it'll be a bit I don't know if it's going to people will be wearing lycra or whatever but it'll be I think they're going to hail tomorrow where there's a bit of a like a, a loop that they use for time trials it's good to get you can, you can get quite pacey around there um, so I did that two Wednesdays ago God, sport. sorry my winter is so boring um, and then the next day I went to a really good talk put on by an, an organisation called Engage Liverpool and they got a guy over from Copenhagen to talk about cycle infrastructure. So as you can imagine, the room was just full of cycle nerds like me, <laughs> um, just wanting to like sit at his feet and listen to his wonderful stories about how great it is in Copenhagen. Um, and they had an interesting panel as well. Um, what I would say is that the panel was not gender balanced. <laughs> there was one woman on the panel and she was a councillor from Liverpool City Council and I felt pretty sorry for her because she obviously wasn't a cyclist. She was given a really crap set of slides to read out which were just figures and, and, and metrics that mean absolutely nothing. How much money they're going to spend, how many kilometres they're going to put. Just rubbish. They don't do infrastructure right in Liverpool. Uh, but she was very nice. Um, they did say when they came to questions from the floor that they were going to ask, you know, um, men and women equally, which they did, because the audience, I think, from generally what I remember, was pretty gender balanced. Um, but then we went for a pint afterwards. Um, Chris Boardman was there, didn't come for pints, I think, and Simon Simon O'Brien, who used to be Damon and Brookie, wow, <laughs> is now I think he works two days a month for the council as a cycling ambassador. He was on the panel as well. He was really good. There was a guy from Sustrans and there's my mate Dan <laughs> from Peloton. Um, but when we all went for a pint afterwards, there was there was about maybe 20 of us in the pub and there was me and another woman. Just two women out of all that. More than 20, I'd say. So again, what's happening there? And I don't think it was much really to do with um, you know, childcare things because both on the Wednesday nights there's a guy who rides with us who's got a cargo bike with two um, two child seats strapped to it um, and I spoke to a guy um, in the event on a Thursday who makes videos, he cycles with his kids to school so there's parents there but women just don't seem, don't seem to be getting involved as much um, I think on my rides to work when I commute every day I generally see women every day I see women every day cycling to work I'm just wondering where are they? Are they um, do they just not love cycling as much as I do? Um, is there a reason they're getting put off joining in? I do find it very blokey. There are, you know, the people who take cycling seriously and get to Lycra are mostly men. Um, but I don't know. It's such. It is hard to. It's hard to keep on club rides and stuff like that. Even at my best fitness, I could not keep up with 70 year old men. Um, the most I can average on a two hour ride is about 16 mile an hour. And most men are doing 18 to 20, even when they've got mediocre fitness, it's really frustrating. But yeah, um, so yeah, if you are a woman and you're watching this and you want to come for a ride, ever get in touch because um, we need more of us on the roads. Um, and lastly, the other event I went to, which was just at the end of last week, um, there's an organisation in Liverpool. Well, there's an organisation. It's a bakery. It makes pies <laughs> called Home Baked. Um, they set up in an old uh, bakery that had gone out of business next to Anfield, Anfield Football Stadium, home of Liverpool FC. Um, and they made it. A, I think they made it a company community interest company or something and then they took over the row of houses and it's community land trust so they're basically there's community land trust in granby as well and it's basically they're renovating these houses they're bringing a bit more uh, regeneration into the city and so one of the houses on the terrace they took over an organization called 
Dead Pigeon Gallery and um, did like a pop-up exhibition in there and me and my friend Nick went to the opening night and it was brilliant and I absolutely loved it. Uh, Nick is from, I didn't realise when we arranged to go, but Nick is from those exact streets um, and he bumped into loads of people from school and they were all reminiscing about what they, you know, hanging out in the area, you know, where they used to play, all the houses and streets that have been knocked down. It was really good. It was, it was, the artwork was really, really good. There was a set of photo montages by a guy called Mark Loudon, which was just amazing. I couldn't stop looking at them. And, um, and it felt like it was by local people for local people. Um, and it was the people I spoke to. There were some great positive people doing amazing work in the community. It's on until December now, I think. Uh, they're having some open days, but otherwise it's viewed by appointments. And I will try and put the, um, the details in the description below. It's really, really good. So, yeah. So over the winter, I'm basically going to... I think this vlog is going to be a bit about Liverpool about the community work that goes on. My last job I worked with loads of community organisations and I loved it and um, and that's a couple of things I'm passionate about is about people, the, the community of Liverpool, politics in Liverpool, um, cycling infrastructure in Liverpool which is terrible, why it is terrible. Um, but also I think unless something interesting happens before then my next video is I'm going to show you my indoor trainer setup. Wow. <laughs> um, I've got a road bike that I put on an indoor trainer and I will spend $12.99 a month I think it is to go on Zwift but I've got my setup is super cheap like everything I do <laughs> it costs me around 50 quid to set up um, and I can go on Zwift and I can do FTP tests and things like that I really love it so that'll be my next video I think and that will, that's what I'm going to be doing over the, over the winter is try and keep me fit. I'd say get fit, but I'm just trying to keep me fitness from plummeting <laughs> so I can still ride a bike at all. So yeah, that's my update. And yeah, look out for my next video.